ethnography in two minutes it's going to be hard because it's everything anthropologists do the the most common ethnographic methods are participant observation interviews and focus groups we also do surveys and questionnaires but not as much as other fields do field work means using those methods for an extended period usually a year or two among the people that you're studying the most meaningful parts of field work come when you kind of fade into the background where you just engaging with the flow of everyday life around you and then documenting what you find in an ethnography like this one renegade dreams by lawrence ralph which i talk about at length in other videos or this one a dissertation about toronto's region park community which isn't officially published yet but it's a book length piece of writing based on field work so it's an ethnography but those are both kind of unconventional examples because anthropology started out as the study of small-scale societies which were seen as isolated and simple at the time i'm talking about over a century ago so it usually involved a European or a white North American anthropologist doing research in indigenous communities in the Americas or in the South Pacific or on the African continent and that anthropologist would write an ethnography based on that fieldwork that was seen as the truth about that group of people. Now at present we see this whole thing is much more complicated. First off there's no simple societies. All societies are equally complex in their own ways. Second anthropologists do work in communities all over the world including in their own community. And third nobody can tell the whole truth about any one place because life is too complicated complex for that. The way we now do our work is we, we do rigorous library and archival research on the places we're studying. We then make a long-term engagement with the place based on meaningful interactions with people who live there. And then we analyze what we found with reference to what other anthropologists have found in similar contexts as well. Every individual piece of writing is a partial one. It's shaped by the anthropologist's interests and the interests of the people they interviewed. If you add up the thousands of ethnographies produced every year on how various groups of people make a living and make their lives meaningful, I think it adds up to a really interesting and important and useful body of knowledge.